Hello everyone and welcome back to our Adventure A Day quest calendar from Sundial Games 2024's The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Now, uh, for those of you just joining us, uh, I do want to let you know that we do stream uh, every Wednesday and every other Sunday at 8 p.m. on Twitch. That is 8 p.m. Eastern, sorry. And we stream Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition. Uh, Wednesday, we are a player. And on every other Sunday, we DM Tomb of Annihilation. So make sure you check us out. Also, don't forget to like these videos as it will help us out to reach more people and spread the joy of these interesting kind of games uh, to people who may not know these exist. I didn't know they exist until my wife got it to me for uh, Christmas this year. So, well, last year. Anyway, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to know when more of these videos come out. We are trying to hit 500 subscribers before the end of the year pretty sure we can do it thank you all for your help in joining us through this journey but let's continue on today oh yeah yesterday if you missed it don't forget the video uh, link is up there and in the description but yesterday we picked a new piece of equipment and we got some campfires which will help us out on a long journey but for today tuesday again we're gonna look for pickpocket i see one right there uh i don't think there's gonna be a backpack no. Uh, so yeah, that is a pickpocket. And for those who don't know, whenever one of those icons show up throughout the calendar, there are some days where you can steal from a non-enemy character. Uh, reminders for the pickpocket ability are noted by the icon with the bag of coins. These icons may not always be easy to find as they will be hidden on the page. Keep an eye out for them. If you spot this icon, roll a d4, gain that much in amber. On a result of four, you also lose one virtue. You can choose not to receive any amber, and you do not lose the virtue. So we will go oops, go ahead and roll our d4. This guy right here. Wait, is that? Yeah. Or is it this one? I know it's the d4. I'm trying to get the right set. Uh, this is a darker one. Okay, yeah. This one. Three. I'll take three. One, two, three. Nice. Especially because it looks like we're going in, coming into some shops. All right. Uh, you take your leave and head out into the city to stock up on supplies. The weather takes another drastic turn this day as sweltering heat quickly melts the snow and hides any evidence that a storm passed by only yesterday. Your journey to the Lost Woods could take up to four days if you don't encounter any trouble. The closest city beyond the woods is uh, Harkin Run. Consider gathering supplies to make it beyond their safety. Safely. Yeah, in case there's not going to be any issues. Of course there's going to be issues. Four days. Okay, let's see. Uh, you'll have a chance to recruit party members at the next stop. Save some amber if you're interested. All right, so how many rations do we have? We have two uh, food stalls. Food stall vendors are open early today as many other uh, critters look for traditional breakfast following the Turning Leaf Festival. Many are enjoying their last meal in Crown Spire before leaving to return home. The delicious scent of freshly baked bread, sizzling street food, and aromatic coffee fills the air, tempting your taste buds. Here you can purchase meal rations for travel. Alright, so let's get more than enough meal rations as we have a lot of money. So let's get each meal ration is one amber. We have two meal rations. It's going to be four days. So let's get six. So we have eight meal rations total. So one, two, three, four, five, six amber removed. And one, two, three, four, five, six meal rations gained. The Ardent Adventurer. You find an establishment owned by a charismatic and adventurous raccoon named Rylan which beckons thrill seekers with various combat related items and potent potions. This emporium caters to the daring souls of the forest, equipping them with the necessary tools for embarking, embarking on perilous quests and epic adventures. Oh man, these are all good, but I think, you know what I need? Actually, I need a D4 to a single attack roll. The combat tonic might be good. They're five amber each. Sage leaf, um, wisdom. 
Defense roll is not bad. Um, <laughs> you know, let's hold off because I see we have another shop we're going to stop at, um, which I like this stuff better. So these humble healings, you enter a quaint shop ran by a gentle and wise hedgehog named Hazel. Within the shop's serene confines, you find a variety of healing potions and salves, each carefully crafted by Hazel to mend the ailments of the critters of Renwood. Uh, healing potion might be useful. We have one. Uh, cleansing crystal might be useful. That heals a cur removes a curse. Phoenix tears uh, removes a single wound, which we haven't died, but might be useful. Antidote removes the poison condition. Let's go ahead and get an antidote. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we'll get an antidote because I'm, as somebody who has played a lot of games whether it be Diablo or Pokemon or whatever, antidotes are always useful. Um, we'll save the rest. Yeah, we got 32. We'll save the rest. And that'll be it for today. Thank you all for joining us. Come check out, see what happens tomorrow. Um, but it looks like we're going to be leaving Crown Spire and going into the woods. Uh, we'll find out what happens. Um, but yeah, until next time, thank you all for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check us out every Wednesday and every other Sunday for live streaming D&D on Twitch. And until next time, as always, stay safe out there.